Hello, my name is Amy and welcome back to video number two in this beginner yoga series. Um, if you've not watched the first video, I would highly recommend going back and watching that one as today's class will build on that first one. So we're going to get right started right away. Um, again, I want to remind you of the quote that I told you that I gave to you in the first class because I think it's such a great quote. And the quote is actually by Shunaru Suzuki, if I'm saying that name correctly. And the quote is, in the beginner's mind, there are many possibilities, but in the experts, there are few. So just, again, let that kind of sink in as you go through your practice today. Because I know beginning something new can seem intimidating and you don't know anything, but again, there's so many possibilities as a beginner. So embrace that. All right, let's get right started. Get started. So we're going to just sit in a nice, comfortable, easy seat. One chin across in front of the other. You could sit in a chair additionally, whatever feels best for you. And from here, we're just going to do some shoulder rolls to kind of loosen up the shoulders a bit. So we're going to bring the shoulders up toward our ears, drop them back down, roll them around to the front, and back up. And just do that a few times on your own, at your own pace, breathing naturally, and really just feel the shoulders kind of opening up and starting to loosen up for today's class. We're going to go three more rolls this way. And one more. And from there, drop your shoulders down. And now we're going to go the other way. So lift your shoulders up, bring, drop them forward, around, down, back, and back up. And continue in this pattern for a few rounds on your own. And also remembering to breathe. Really just let those shoulders kind of loosen up for today. And let's do two more in this direction. One more. And let that go. Nice. All right, shake that out a little bit. Now we're going to do, um, we're going to do our arms. We're just going to do a nice little sweeping arms up in the air motion. So we're going to go inhale up and exhale down. And when you're doing this, try to stay tall and long in your torso. Inhale up, exhale down. Three more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Once more. Inhale up. Exhale down. And from there, we're going to be doing downward dog a little bit more today. So we're going to kind of loosen up our wrist a bit to help us with that. So clasp your hands together and then interlace them, clasp, and then stretch them out in front of you, palms facing out. And what you're looking for in this pose, you can stay there, is you want your to be about shoulder height. So you want your hands to be about shoulder height in this one. Maintain that nice long straight back if possible. And just breathe in and out here a few for a few rounds at your own pace. And really open up those hands, feel the wrist warming up for today's class. One more inhale, and exhale. And from here, we're going to take our hands up over, our arms up overhead to the degree that you can. Some of you may be right here, and this is good. If you can go further without compromising yourself or hurting yourself, then go for it. But if, if you find yourself doing this, then stay here. So you want to try to maintain that, that flat back as best you can with your arms up in the air, hands still clasped, palms up toward the sky. A couple of nice deep breaths here, please. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. All right, from there, release your hands, shake that all out. And now we're going to come into cat and cow and from tabletop position. So we're going to come onto all fours. Your knees will be under your hips and your wrist will be under your shoulders. If you do have sensitive wrist, you can always come up onto make fist. This will also work. <coughs> Excuse me. And your uh, legs will be about hip distance apart. And from here, we're going to inhale, arch the lower back, raise the chest and chin up toward the sky. And on the exhale, 
we're going to round, tuck the chin in, and dome the back up. Inhale. Arch the back, lift the chin. This is cow pose. And then on the exhale, round, tuck the chin, dome the back. This is cat. If you have cats at home, have you ever seen cats stretch? They do this. Smart, smart animals in that case, in that respect. We're gonna do a few rounds of that. So inhale, coming forward, arching the back. Exhale, round. Twice more. Inhale. And exhale, round the back. Once more. Inhale, arching the back, looking up. And exhale, round, tuck your chin, pull your navel in. And let that go. Very nice. From here, we're going to come up into mountain pose. We did mountain pose yesterday. Remember, all four corners of the bottom of your feet will be into the mat. Standing tall like a mountain with your legs hip distance apart and arms down to your side. And from here, I just want you to stand for a moment and come to this pose and feel grounded and open and ready for what's to come. From here, we're going to inhale our arms up overhead. And you're going to take your right hand and grab your left wrist. Pull up and now side bend over to your right. Hold this for a couple of nice deep breaths in and out through your nose. And exhale, come back up. And now grab, take your left hand and grab your right wrist. Pull up slightly and now side bend over to your left. A couple of nice deep breaths in and out through your nose. And from here, come back up, drop that. And now we're going to move to the top of our mat, and this is where you might need your blocks. I went over this yesterday. Remember, use this, the height that works for you, to bring the floor up to you if you need them. If you don't need them, then you don't, don't use them. Sit at the top of your mat. And from here, mountain pose again. Arms down to your side. Stand nice and tall. Don't lock your knees. Legs hip distance apart. And inhale, reach up overhead. Reach, reach, reach tall for the sky. And exhale, hinging at your hips. Fold forward. And let your head hang as you come into this forward fold. And again, you can have your knees bent as much as you need to initially. As you warm up, you'll find you don't need to bend your knees as much. From here, we're going to inhale, halfway lift with a nice flat back. Legs may come to straight or they may be still slightly bent. Exhale, fold in, fold forward, let your head really dangle. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, look forward. Exhale, fold forward. Want your head dangle. Inhale, flat back, lift halfway up, look forward, and exhale, fold forward once more, letting it go. And from here, inhale and come all the way up to standing in it. Arms overhead, reach, 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 and exhale back to mountain pose, arms at your side. All right, from here, let me move my blocks out of the way. And we're going to be going through a little bit of a standing series today. So yesterday we worked on, well, may not have been yesterday for you, but the last video, I should say, we started with Warrior One. So we're going to do that again today. So starting from Mountain Pose, we're going to step our right foot back into Warrior One. And this is where you want your hips square to the front of the room, about hip distance apart, maybe further apart, depending on what, how stable you may feel or unstable and your right foot will be turned out at about a 45 degree angle from here bend your left front knee arms up toward the sky and we're just going to breathe here for three nice deep breaths holding this standing tall coming out of your hips all the way up this nice line of energy going all the way up to your fingertips inhale exhale inhale exhale Inhale, 
and exhale lower your arms down and from here we're going to step our left foot back to meet our right hands down for downward facing dog so bring both your feet back towards the back end, end, end edge of your mat hands will be a little wider than shoulder distance apart and stretch back into your downward facing dog here you can pedal your legs out it's the first down dog of the day most of us need this really get a nice opening with both of your legs stretch back keep your knees bent if you need to and i would like to show you a modification for this so i'm going to bring you up into mountain pose and i will show you a modification for this so go ahead and walk forward and come to stand on the top of your mat and inhale your arms up and down to your sides and i'm going to show you because we're going to be doing downward dog a bit more today and some people you may want to do some of them, not all of them. So you can skip any that you want to. That's first option. And you can just come back into mountain pose. So when I say step in a downward dog, you can come into mountain pose. Alternatively, you can also do what is called puppy pose. Very similar. You just bring your arms way out in front of you. And you just drop your chin so your hips will go up toward the, up toward the sky, forehead to the ground, or close to the ground. That is one option. And then the other option would be to do it at a wall because you'll still get the same benefits, but maybe not as much weight has to, weight bearing on the wrist. In this case, I have a window, but it, you'll get the idea. So from a wall, you're just going to stand and you'll be like this. So you're getting the same kind of idea. You're stretching through your arms, you're stretching through your legs. You don't have to play around with the distance. So those are options for when I call to go back in a downward dog. And maybe you just don't feel like doing the downward dog. Or you're having some issues with strength or wrist or whatever. So those are options. All right. So we're back in ma to mountain pose. And we're going to inhale. Reach up. Overhead. Stretch for the sky. And from here, lower your arms. And now we're going to come into warrior two on the second side. So step your left foot back. Right leg will be bent forward. Left leg is at a 45 degree, the left foot is at a 45 degree angle. And your hips are squared toward the front of the room. Inhale the arms up. And we'll stay here for three nice deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and from here, bring your hands down to the ground, step your right foot back to meet your left into downward facing dog, or one of those options I gave you. Really stretch through your arms, push, push the, mat, the mat away from you. Same thing with your feet, lift your hips up toward the sky and push the mat away from you with your feet. You want to feel that nice line of energy going from your feet up to your hips. And from your arms, your hands all the way up to your shoulders. Into this nice inverted V. Two nice cleansing deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. From here, we're going to step forward. Rising up. Arms overhead. Reach, reach, reach. Stretch. Touch the sky. And exhale, lower your arms to your sides. Today we're going to introduce a new pose, which is Warrior Two. So Warrior Two from Mountain Pose, we're just going to step our right foot back. And in this case, we're going to open up. And you may need a wider stance. You'll have to kind of play around with this. But the important uh, alignment cue here I'd like to point out that we uh, you'll often hear is what's called heel to arch alignment. So you're going to take your left your left heel, back of your left foot. If you did a, drew a line, would should intersect with the right arch of your back foot. That's that middle part of your foot. So that's what you're going for here. And you'll notice in this case, your hips are squared toward the side of your mat. Maybe the side of your room, depending on where you're at. What you're also looking for here is you don't want this knee tracking over your, your ankle. You want it to stay either above it or maybe back. And the other important alignment cue, you don't want your knees playing in or out. You're going to try to keep your knee in line with your toes. That is the goal. These may not all happen the first few times, but that's what you're going for. So from here, you're going to inhale, bring those arms up to your sides. 
as best you can. You also can leave them at your on your waist. From here, you're going to gaze over your left hand. And here we're going to take two nice deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And from here, we're going to bring our arms down to the, the ground. Pivot off the back foot and bring your right foot back to meet your, your, I'm sorry, your left foot back to meet your right. I'm not sure if I said that right. Back into downward facing dog. Really stretch back and here we're going to take three cleansing breaths before we do the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And make sure in this pose you're letting your, kind of your head dangle. You want to let it go. You don't want to be trying to look up toward the front of your mat. And from here, we're going to walk forward, raising our arms up overhead, touch the sky, and exhale into mountain pose. Nice. Now let's do warrior two on the other side. So from here, step your left foot back. And most people will find that they'll have a longer stance in this pose versus warrior one. So same thing, heel arch alignment. So your, your right arch will be lining up with your left, I'm sorry, your right heel will be lining up with your left arch. Front knee bent, arms up, gazing out over your right hand. Three deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. From here, downward facing dog. Arms down to the ground, pivot off of the back foot, and bring your right to meet your left. Into downward facing dog, or one of those variations, or skip and go to mountain. Three nice cleansing deep breaths here. One more, inhale. And now we're gonna walk forward onto our mat. Inhaling, bringing the arms up overhead, reaching for the sky, and exhaling, arms down to your sides into mountain pose. Now you may feel kind of warm enough now where you don't need your blocks or you need to put them on a lower level. So go ahead and grab them just in case, have them ready. And here we go. All right, so we're going to inhale our arms up overhead, reach for the sky, touch. Exhale, fold forward, dive forward, hinging from your hips, hands on blocks or the floor, let your head dangle. Forward fold. We're gonna inhale and halfway lift, flat back looking forward. And from here, we're gonna come into downward facing dog once again. Hands down on the, on the ground. Step your feet back and come into that nice inverted V shape of downward facing dog. Hips rising up toward the air, toward the sky I should say. Spiraling your uh, inner thighs in, back and apart. Really feel that stretch. And from here, going to lower the knees and shift forward into modified plank. So shift your hips forward. And now you have a nice straight line from your head down to your feet. And if you'd like, bring your knees up. If you're not feeling that today, leave your knees down. From here, we're going to slowly lower down. Remember to keep your elbows tucked in toward the sides of your, of your body. Exhaling down to the ground. From here, untuck your back toes. Your hands will be next to your chest. And we're going to come into a small cobra. So shoulders on the back, elbows tucked in tight. Raise your chest and your head. And this is a little mini cobra. If this is tough for you or this is not working for you, bring your arms out further to the side and in front of you and try lifting from there any amount and see if that helps. Really kind of come out of your hips a bit when you're doing this pose. Those are a couple of options. And then slowly lower back down on the exhale. And from here, we're going to lift up 
from all fours and now we're going to go into child's pose so this is t your uh, big toes will be touching sit back on your heels knees can be wide or they can be close together and just stretch forward again you can put a block under your forehead you can be propped up you can have a pillow here you can also if you have your knees close together you can also do this your arms back to the sides I prefer this variation, but that's just me. Arms stretched out in front of you. And we're just going to breathe here in and out for a few rounds of breaths on your at your own pace. One more nice round of breath. All right, and from here we're going to come up and we're going to, excuse me, <coughs> got a morning frog in the throat. All right, from here <clears throat> we are going to do tree pose like we did in the last video. So for those of you who are ready to go into it, go into it, go into your variation. Otherwise, I'll talk you through it again. Remember, Stay near a wall. You don't have to have your hand on the wall, but it's there or a chair, whatever you need. It'll be right there for you. So we're going to turn our right leg out. And you can either bring your heel to your lower shin, your mid shin, or your upper thigh, skipping the knee. Never put your foot on your knee. That'll stress that joint. From here, hands at your waist, hands at your chest, arms up toward the sky, and take three nice deep breaths here. If you fall out, come back into the pose. Don't worry about it. Just if you need to hang on the wall, do so. Find a point to gaze at. Really look ahead and keep breathing in this pose. And let you breathe at your own pace, but just keep breathing. Find a nice point to look at. Remember, if you fall out, not a big deal. Come back into it. Let's take another nice deep breath and inhale together. Inhale. Exhale. Lower your arms, lower your leg. Nice job. We're now going to do the left side. So shake that out for a minute, really get the legs loosened up. And now, same thing. Turn your left leg out. Heel can go to the bottom of your shin, mid, mid shin, or bring it up to your upper thigh. Never the knee. And and I just fell out. See? And what happens? You just go back into it. So if you're in it, keep breathing. Find that point to gaze at. Put your, whatever arm variation works best for you. It could be hips, chest, arms up overhead, arms up to the side. You decide. Nice deep breaths in and out. Steady gaze. I'm going to look ahead over here at a tree. That always helps me. Tree pose while looking at a tree. Very nice. If you have a window that you're nearby and there's a tree outside, I highly recommend trying it. If you fall, just come back into it. Let's do another inhale together. And exhale. Lower your hands, lower your leg. Nice job. Tree pose. All right, from here, we're going to come down sitting on our mats. And I'm going to have you lay back on your back. I'll hold her out. The soles of your feet on the ground. You're going to be about hip distance apart in this pose. And from here, I want you to take your right foot and place it on your left knee. And for many of you, this will be plenty. You can stay right here. If you want a little bit more, take both your hands. Take one hand around to your left leg and the other leg hand through this little kind of triangle hole that you've made here and reach for your shin and pull in and you'll really feel this right along the the right hand side of your of your hip over here on the side so if you need to stay the first position stay there or pull in as what as best you can keeping the right foot flexed that's going to protect your knee so a nice inhale exhale 
Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, we're going to release that. Both feet, both soles of the feet back down to the ground. And now we're going to take our left foot. Left foot will meet our right knee. Stay here. This is, this is plenty. Stay right here. Keeping that left foot flex, of course. Otherwise, reach through and grab your shin and pull in. And we're going to have three deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And from here, we're going to drop our knees our legs back down to the ground and bring your legs into your chest and from here we're going to do a, a, a supine lying down twist so bring both of your knees over to your left and your right arm will go out to the right side your knees may not touch the ground and that's fine what you're trying to go for here as best you can is to have your right shoulder as close to the ground as possible and looking out over your right. We're going to just take some nice deep breaths here. Let me go ahead and stay in that pose. I'm going to check our time to make sure I keep us where we need to be. Excellent. All right, and from here, one more deep breath in. Exhale, and bring your legs back up to center. Hug them into your chest, and then you know what we're going to do next. Go to the other side. So left, I mean, sorry, take your knees over to the right-hand side. And your left arm will be out to the, to the left and looking over your left. Three deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bring the knees back up to center. Really give them a nice squeeze. Place the soles of your feet on the ground. And if you used a block yesterday for bridge, then grab that again. And all you're going to do, again, hip distance apart with your, your knees. Knees point up toward the sky. Lift your hips and place that block right underneath of your sacrum. Right at the lowest part of your lower back. And stay here for two nice deep breaths breaths. If you want, you can take the, the block out and hold it for one. Two. And I lied. Let's do one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. And now you're going to lower those hips down. And now we're going to come into our final resting pose, which is Shavasana. If you had an eye covering, you like having an eye covering, grab that and let your legs lay out in front of you, out on the mat, arms out to your sides, cover your eyes if needed. If you need to, you can always leave your, um, you can have your legs bent, your soles of your feet wider than your mat and your knees knocked in toward each other if that's better on your lower back. Find the most comfortable position for you and rest here for a moment. And I'm going to come up and watch the time, and I'm going to bring you out when the time is up. So just breathe, stay in that pose, and get comfortable. Really letting your back go into the mat, releasing everything, letting today's practice really kind of wash over you and integrate itself into your body. Breathe in at your own natural pace. Just let everything go. And for just this last little bit of time, be here in this moment right now. Take some nice deep breaths in and out. Give you a little bit of quietness, another 20 seconds or so.
those of you that are on a time limit, we're going to come out of this pose here in a minute. For those of you that have more time or you want to stay, stay. Stay as long as you want. Stay two, three, five minutes, whatever. It's The longer you can stay, the better. So stay. You can ignore my cues if you're able to stay. If not, however, stretch your legs out long on your mat and your arms way up overhead. Just give a nice, long, deep stretch. Feel yourself grow longer and taller. And from there, bring your knees into your chest. Roll over to your side. Make a pillow with your arm. Stay here for just a moment. Using your arms, bring yourself back up, up to upright to a nice seated position, comfortable seated, cross-legged position. And bring your palms to your chest in gratitude for coming to your mat and practicing. Congratulations, you did your second class in a, this beginner series. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and keep coming back because there's a lot more to do and there's, trust me, it's worth it. Namaste.